Hello friends, the, in, uh, the question is how will the equations of motion for an object moving with uniform velocity change? So we need to know the equations of motion and from our knowledge of kinematics we know there are three equations of equations equations of motion are there. Now what are the assumptions for these three equations? So assumptions is acceleration acceleration is constant constant and and motion is restricted restricted to a straight line path and the three equations were or R first one is V is equal to U plus A T B is S is equal to U T plus half A T squared and C is V square is equal to U square plus 2 A S now let's see let's see what are the meanings of these uh, variables so V is final velocity final velocity u is initial velocity and s is displacement covered in, in uh, along the straight line displacement 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 t is the time taken for the travel and a is constant acceleration constant acceleration now so what's happening so basically the body is moving in a straight path let's say from a and goes to b when it started its initial velocity was u and when it was here at point b it was moving with the velocity v this distance or the displacement it is a straight line so distance and displacement will be same and this value is s okay so the path length is s t is the time taken T, T is the time taken for this journey so they, the body takes T time to cover this distance and all through all through the acceleration was A in this direction okay. so this is how we are describing the motion now the question says how will these equations change if, if the body is moving with uniform velocity now what is the condition of uniform velocity uniform velocity uniform velocity means velocity doesn't change with time so that means if velocity doesn't change with time so delta v is zero delta v means change change in velocity right so change in velocity is zero and now we define acceleration as delta v upon delta t right these are vector quantities so delta v by delta delta t is acceleration now we see that delta v is equal to zero so hence we'll get acceleration as zero now the moment acceleration is zero the magnitude of acceleration is zero you put a is zero in all the three equations you will get what from a now putting, putting magnitude of a is equal to zero or a is equal to 0 so equation a will become v square v is equal to u plus 0 into t that is that is v is equal to u b will become s is equal to u t plus half into 0 into t square that means s is equal to u t and c v square is equal to u square plus 2 into 0 into s this implies v square is equal to u square so basically if you see v is equal to u 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 means what throughout the journey initial and final velocity are same so that is the sign of a, a constantly 
or uh, body and in constant or uniform motion so u is equal to v s equals to ut which you have learned in your previous classes and distance is equal to speed into time so if you see s represents the distance u is the initial velocity which remains constant throughout the motion so the velocity times time will give you the displacement or distance in this case and v square is equal to u square is nothing but same thing v is equal to u right so all through the motion v remains same so this is how the equations will change the moment the body is moving with uniform velocity